Okay, Oren Doherty, uh, we'll call you stand-in captain for tonight here, here at the launch. No sign of Alton this evening? No, I'm covering for Alton tonight, so I'm um, so, uh, doing a good brother role for him. Yeah, he's doing a bit of country singing, is he? Uh, he's up at uh, Luke Holmes tonight, so he is, so I thought I'd dig him out of a hole. <laughs> well, listen, he's enjoying the music. You've, you're here talking to the press, but these events don't phase you as boys anymore because you're, you're that used to them. You've been involved in so many now, Oren. Aye, uh, it's seven now, finals in a row, so... Or I seven yeah. or why? Sorry. So um, uh, it's a nice feeling. Obviously, it's a nice time of the year. Obviously, when you're in the county final and all, but um, they're there to be won. So have to make the most of it. You know. Yeah. At the start of the year, do you just discard everything that happened the year before, and it's all a new target every single time? Like, how how do you separate these finals, or how do you separate the years as they go along? Ah, uh, it's just a new year, a new start, mm -hmm. and um, you just have to look towards. Um, what to rectify from the year previous and what you've done wrong and you know set new goals as such um maybe getting bigger stronger or you know improving every day in night, nights and training you know so yeah. aye listen it's a fantastic club and a fantastic run you mentioned seven in a row has uh, 10 the last 13 or something oh, I, couldn't so even I, think tell you. I think it's 12 in the last 18 which is a, a phenomenal record uh so it is what is it with the group that every time they can go back to the well and they can find that because some people would be happy with just one title. Uh, but there's a hunger within you that's just there all the time. It's more of a culture now, I suppose. Um, you know, I haven't been here the last seven years, but um, I was watching a few in the stand and all, and you want to be part of it, like, and um, I suppose it's a bit of jealousy nearly. You want to be part of it, you want to be greedy, you know, and you just want to be something, part of something special. And then when you're in it, then when you're off the lads, every night of training, young or old, you know, we all get on well. And, you know, that's half the battle. And we're just like a big family as such. So it definitely helps. The chemistry's high. Yeah. We heard from uh, the manager, Martin, there in, in the press night, and he spoke how influential the older players are. Mm -hmm. We could call you one of the younger players, but you've actually been around now, the senior setup for, for, for quite a few years. So you, you would see yourself now at, at a level with most of the other guys there. What do them boys bring to the table week in, week out? The just, it's just the basics, you know. They're just always nibbling at the basics, but they always do it at 100%. You know, um, if there's a kick pass that goes astray or such, they just think about the next ball and they try not to drop the head, you know, and you can really look and see that in training, and then they just always go for the next ball, and they're just dogs, like. Yeah. Would you like to get to the 100 mark? A few um, there well, happen? hopefully, I know if the legs keep going and the injuries stray away, but um, aye, you know, it's always special when you're playing for a club, especially going to final day. Yeah. And we mentioned it before we hit the record button, that how important it is to stay injury-free, and you've been lucky this year. Yeah. And particularly the timing of it. Uh, definitely 100%. Um, we didn't have too many injuries this year by Owen McGettigan, who's obviously a huge loss. But um, we've definitely gained a few younger lads too. Alton, I suppose he's came back from his cruciate injury the last few years and he's a big help. So he is, he's the captain now and um, definitely look towards him. And then we have Logan Quinn stepped up from reserves. We've also we Mark McDevitt. He's only 18 years of age and he's definitely shown his quality throughout the championship. Do you feel you have a target in your back? Because there's history there with Guidor. Obviously, we know the trilogy that happened in, in 2019. That was a real sucker punch for them because this, that Guidor team was to go on and dominate football in Donegal, but it didn't happen. And it all came off the back of the defeat that you just handed down over over those those three games. So do you feel that, listen, that this team owes you one? I probably do. So in fairness, we've got we've won the last few games. Um, we beat them last year and the year before that. And then obviously we took the title off them in 2019. So... They will be gunning for us, but at the end of the day, it's a game and uh, they'll be there definitely on merit and we'll have to show our quality too. Yeah. You were down in a number of games against big clubs in earlier matches and then you were two up against the Unions, Unions the last day. You have this unique way of, as a, as a compact unit, grinding these, these big results out. What sort of level is it going to take the next day now against Gidoror? Uh, it's definitely going to have to take a 60 minutes performance. Um, Regan said it in there. Um, Gudor, you know, they'll punish you in the turnovers and they're big men, physical men. And like, we, as we saw last day against McCulls, McCulls is a very good side and um, they scored three goals past them and the game was kind of finished early in the second half. So we will be punished. 
just finally then, what would this mean to, to the group of players and to the supporters? This is a big game for Gidor, but how big is it how, for the Neve Connell Parish? Ah, it's big every year. Look, it's obviously the biggest thing, biggest day of the year in Glenties and Fintown. You always want to be there and um, see your family and friends and all wearing the blue and white colours when you're on parade there and before the game it's a special feeling and uh, you just want to make them proud and do the job. Okay, well listen, thanks for talking to us and wish you the best luck in the final. Cheers, Austin. Thank you.